Welcome to Interview Pro. In the last videos, we have seen how to create a new Angular project and understood the project structure created by Angular CLI. Today, let's learn how to create a component. Let's create a folder components inside app component. So I'll name this as components. All our application related components will be created inside this folder. There is a command in Angular CLI to create a component, but let's try to create manually so that we know how the newly created component will be binded to the project. I want to name the component as projects. So I'll create another folder inside components folder as projects so that all the uh, files related to projects component will go into this folder. Every component will have a TypeScript file. Let's create one. The naming convention is your desired component name dot component dot ps, just like how we see the app component. So I'll create a file with name projects dot component dot ts. To create a component, we need at the rate component decorator. So at the rate component. The component will be available in Angular slash core library. So make sure to import this. This decorator is going to give the metadata related to the component. Inside this decorator, we need to specify few properties. First one is selector. I'll give app hyphen projects as a selector to this component. This will help in using the component in other components. The second one is template. This is the block of HTML code which tells Angular how to render the component. I want to display hello world heading. So let's just give h1 hello world and close the tag. If you have two or more lines of code, then instead of single or double quotes, you can use back ticks. For example, along with hello world, I want to display a small paragraph. So I can go to next line. In the paragraph, I'll say this is my first Angular component. And close the paragraph tag. We have the decorator ready. But the component in Angular is nothing but a class. So create a class projects component. For now, this is going to be empty. Add an export keyword in front of it so that this class is available to access in other components. This selector spelling is incorrect. So this is selector. Let's save it and do ng build. So open the terminal. Let me do ng build. So our application is built. Uh, I forgot to do one thing, which is in order to use this projects component, we need to use this selector and place it inside the app component. So let me just remove the default template provided by Angular. Let me remove everything. And I can use the selector just like any other HTML tag. So this way, we are importing projects component in the apps app component. So let me do ng serve. So we have an error here. What is the error? 
it says app hyphen projects is an is not a known element so if app hyphen project is an angular component then verify that it is part of the module if app project is a web component then add custom element schema to the ng module dot schema so what it is basically trying to say is we have created a component but angular doesn't know that which to which module this component belongs so let's just go to app module dot ps import projects component here projects component and add this projects component to the declarations array so any new component that you create should be added in the declarations array let's try to understand this file on a high level we have a class called app module a module is nothing but set of related components module will have a decorator ng module this will provide metadata for this module so the declarations array will specify all the components belonging to this module you can specify a component in only one ng module class for example this project component is part of app module so you are placing it inside the declaration array in app module ts file similarly you may have another module file and projects component cannot be part of another module file it can be part of only one module imports array will have the modules required for the app module for example browser module is used to have browser specific services like dom rendering sanitization and location app routing module is coming from this file app routing.module.ts if you remember while creating the project there was a question whether to add routing or not and we selected yes so angular cli has created this routing module to manage routing in our application so this module is coming from this file and this module is imported in app module providers array is used to specify services we will be learning services in our future videos bootstrap this is the root component that angular creates and inserts into html html file uh, when we host the web page now let's save it and run the application ng serve so let's browse http localhost 4200 let me just control click on it we see hello world message and uh, the paragraph printed on the screen now let's add some css to this message inside the component decorator we can provide another property called styles this is an array where we can specify the list of styles now i want to make the header red and the paragraph color to green so inside single quotes i'll just say h1 color red and close the braces and i'll add another style for paragraph which says color green let's save it go back to the browser now we see the colors updated we printed this message just to know how the component works but i want to display the list of projects on the screen and we need a lot of html code to achieve this using template it's difficult to write all the code inside backticks because uh, we don't have intellisense even if i put h2 in the closing tag it doesn't give me any error so it's always better to maintain a separate html file so let's create a separate html file here 
and the naming convention is projects.components.html. Let me just add some code here. So I have pasted the dummy code, uh, which displays the details of uh, sample project. Now uh, let me add some CSS also. To add CSS, let me create another file with name projects.component.css and I'll place some code here. Let's save these files. Now in the TS file, we don't need this template and also the styles. Instead of template, we have another property called template URL. Here we just have to specify the file name. So the file name is projects.component.html. Similarly, for the styles also, we have something called styles URL. This is going to be an array. And the path to styles is projects.component.css. If you have multiple files, you can just specify a comma and add another file here. Let's save it. We see an error here saying projects.component.html is not found. Okay, we have a typo here. It's component, not components. Now the application has uh, uh, compiled successfully. Now let's go to the browser. Now we see the updated project details. Uh, so this is how we create a component in Angular. Now let's see how we can create a component using Angular CLI using the command. Let me just do control C here and in the command prompt. So uh, we need this uh, component to be created inside components folder. So let's navigate to or I'll just open it in Revealing File Explorer, press CMD. So in this, let me close the previous window. Here, navigate to Components folder. So inside this Component folder, I want to create another component called Project, just the project. I'll say ng generate, since we need a component, type component and name of the component is project just press enter so uh, angular cli has created a component called project and by default it will add four files one for html one for the CSS, the other for uh, TypeScript, and there is another file called spec.ts. This is to write the unit tests. Let's open this components folder. Now we see another folder called project with these four files created. And if you go to TS file, it has given a selector as app hyphen project. This is the default app hyphen will be appended to the uh, prefixed to the component name. And we have the respective URLs, project component. And by default, Angular CLI will add the newly created component to declarations in the app module. So next time, if you want to create a component using the command, you can use the command ng generate component project. There is a shortcut also. You can simply say g for generate, c for component, followed by project. So you can use either the long command or a shortcut. These are the different ways of how to create a component in Angular. I hope the concept is clear. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, please like, share, comment and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.